Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and yes, it's it's very <laughs> my box is my poor box. Um this is a diamond painting I got from AliExpress. It's from a DPF. Um I decided since I like their um AB drills to try out one of their diamond paintings. I feel like I've done a DP a diamond painting from DPF before. Um, like when I first started, like when I first started diamond painting, I ordered from any diamond painting store. Um, and then there's a point where you just end up having certain ones that you like better. And from what I recall, the diamond painting that I finished, it's poor, it's poor box. It did take, this did take like pretty much the full 90 days that, um, AliExpress has before their buyer protection runs out. I think it came one day before the 90 days were up so yeah it it's this poor box has had better days but i don't really care how the box came as long as the diamond painting is fine what's weird is the previous like my ab drills that i got from dpf came relatively quickly this one i don't know what happened to it <laughs> i don't really blame dpf i blame the mail um system so yeah poor box so unfortunately it's on it's on double-sided adhesive but as long yeah no this poor this poor thing um as long as you can fix this most of the time so as long as the it i could probably iron this as long as the adhesive is on there nicely it'll be fine um so this yeah this does come with uh almost regular toolkit with a white boat instead with a big multi-placer a white pen some tweezers and a squishy and yes it like i said it comes on double-sided adhesive but i don't really have anything against double-sided adhesive so hopefully even though this is horribly squished i kind of wish i i've seen some um some people say they prefer it where it doesn't come rolled up in a roll, but I think this needed to come in a roll. <laughs> Especially since how how horribly this came, but I, I will iron this and I think it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I did want, since I do know DPF their their ab drills i had they i thought they were really really good i decided let's try a diamond painting from them and i feel like i've done one i i just it was just a while back um so i figured try them again and the reason i haven't really tried them again after the first time i bought is they never do any of the sales like aliexpress periodically does like sales where you could get like I don't know, $2 off a $30 purchase kind of thing, or $3 off a $30 purchase, and DPF never does them, so then I don't have this, like, because I the, the only times I buy from AliExpress is when something's on sale, and since DPF never joins in on the sales, I never, ha other than the first time I just tried them, I never really buy from them, but they're not expensive or anything, it's just... I just just don't and I don't have this like thing that prompts me to buy them when they don't go and they don't join in on the AliExpress sales. So So I think that is as um straight as I'll be able to get it to show on this video. So this is um a square diamond painting. Um I will like I said before I do it, I will probably have to iron it, but I got it's this Lily here. Lily pad is these these lilies, water lilies. Um, I just thought it's pretty, and and then I like the watercolors too. So I'm hoping it will turn out. You'll probably see the kitting up of this before you see this unboxing because I was planning to show the unboxing with the finish since I only have the one um, here. So yeah, it's supposed to be this image here. And there's 35 colors in this. 
there are DMCs and the legend is mainly letters and numbers. There are a couple symbols, but they're not anything too crazy. They're all like keyboard symbols at least. Um, the drills look like they come in the baggies here. Um, with a really big number here and these like I these look to be resin drills and that's the reason I wanted to to try them out. I feel like I did try them out earlier in my diamond painting career, but that was back in 2020. So yeah, these look these look like they're resin drills. And this one, in case you're curious, what um at the time of me buying this, this was $13 for a 40 by 50, and then it ended up being $14.18 with some tax for me. Let's see, is this a true 40 by 50 size? Um I'm just gonna measure from the end of the picture to the end of the picture. So this is 49 and a half by, it pretty much is 40 on the one, on the one way. So, yep, it's, it's as close to the true to size. Um, and I will do inventory of this off camera. Um, like I said, you will see the kitting up of it before. Ooh, look at how pretty that color is. Um, and the pretty this color is. You'll see the kitting up before you'll even see this video. And hopefully, right after this, you'll see the finish. So I will see you later. So I'm back and I'm actually finished with this. Yay! Um, so if you saw in the unboxing, this is from DPF. I got it from DPF Handwork Store in AliExpress. Um, I actually, that unboxing was actually from December. So it's been a little bit since the unboxing. So it's a 40 by 50 full drill with 35 colors and there are squares. Um, I kid this is, kitted this up back in December and I finished this in February. It took me seven days to complete um, and over a total of 23 hours and 26 minutes. And it's my 210th um, finish, yay! And my 14th finish of 2022. Um, I was fancy and I was like, I'm gonna try playing around with my silhouette and try to make stickers um, for my finishes instead. Um, it didn't turn out the best, but eh, I'm still learning. Um, so what did I say about this? So, I, so you'll see it, but I thought the rendering was okay, but there was too many checkerboards of different colors. The symbols, some of them were really dark um, and a little bit difficult to read, um, but they were mainly letters, so yay. The stick was okay. It was double-sided adhesive, and luckily this was, this wasn't wasn't one of the double-sided adhesives that like to come off the canvas. This one actually, the adhesive stayed on the canvas. The canvas itself was very wrinkled when it got to me, and um, I did iron it prior to diamond painting, and then I also ironed it after I finished diamond painting it because it was just, it just has kind of a waviness to it. The drills were resin and they were mo mainly, mainly good. Um, resin drills, they tend to, the main problem with resin drills tends to be the little craters on top of them, and these ones did have some, but they were actually pretty decent. And the gapping I thought was good. Um, with very minimal of it. I did replace one, two, three, four colors with ABs. I did replace the exact AB color for these three, but for 727, I use 3078. So you don't always have to use the same AB color um, as the DMC, You, as long as it's close enough. And sometimes you kind of want to veer off a little bit from the original color anyway, because the AB coating does give the um, the drills a slightly different shade, so it might not work to use the exact DMC to DMC um, switch. And there were a bunch of symbols that were very hard to see. Y, V, and R. I don't know if I'll see it. See, like, why was this really dark blue um, with a white, I mean, uh, black lettering in there? And, and the R, it looks much better on this, but it was really hard to read, too. And... V. Where are you? V. 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 V is a dark green with a black writing, so it looks much better on this than on the canvas, but um, 
And then I said that P and 6 drove me a little crazy. So, up oh, 6. So, even though, yes, they're at a different orientation, um, when they're on, like, the canvas next to each other, they do start looking the same. And then once you start looking at things upside down, they can look the same. So, you know. So that's my main comments on this. So let's, you want to see it. So let me move you up. And ta-da, here it is. Oops, I need to move you a little bit more up. More up. So there. There's the whole thing. So I actually think in the whole scope of things, it turned out really, really well. Um, my, my main thing, I kind of don't like, the reason why I'm just going to put this in my art portfolio and not like hang it up, is I'm not a big fan of this kind of rendering where they have this kind of checkerboarding of colors. Um, let me move you down. Like, see the checkerboarding of really different colors. I just don't like how that looks. Like over here, there's this really pink color here. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera. Um, but, but yeah, I'm not a fan of like, see, I mean, there's just some random orange there. I mean, I could go off and change it and take out all the orange and I could kind of see why they have the orange. There is kind of like shades of orange ish in the picture. So it's probably how the computer generated it, but it's not my favorite type of how things get rendered. And I didn't really feel like changing it. Um, but I have to say the flower turned out really, really great. This is pretty much where I put all my ABs in, is in this flower here. Um, so I put in some ABs in the yellow part here, and then this white, and then a pink here. So on the edges, there is, that's where I put all my ABs in the flower. And I have to say the flower turned out really beautiful. So I like how that turned out here, the flower. Um, and I did use the ABs I got from DPF. So, and I have to say, I'm very happy with the minimal amount of gapping in this. So, so yeah, here, there's the white, um, and I'm trying to see if you can see, I might have too many lights on. Um, <laughs> sometimes when it's too bright, it doesn't focus as well. Um, it looks like it's focusing. See, yeah, look at how um, minimal the gapping is. And that is how I like my squares. Um, it does make diamond painting squares a little bit easier when there is no gapping because then they just kind of come together really well. So, and, um, after there was a little bit of popping in here, but after I, um, got my, what do you call that? Rolling pin and went through it. And then I also, um, this is the first time I did it, but I also went and ironed it after I finished drilling it. Because if you saw the unboxing, the canvas was really, really wrinkled. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, you could kind of still see the remnants of the wrinkling in the back here. Um, so then while I was working on it, it I could kind of feel the, it was not completely flat. So then, um, so then after I finished, I finished it, I went and ironed it again. And I think it helped it a little bit, but it's still not the flattest of canvases. But after I pretty much got all my drills down, it's, it's nice. It, it feels nice. This is, this is how a diamond painting that's a square should feel. It's nice and smooth, not too raggedy, 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 um, because everything should fit into place. And there is something satisfying about placing drills in between drills and it makes a lovely snapping sound. So, um, so this is why I'm really obsessed with gapping. You might think I'm like, oh, why are you complaining so much about gapping? It looks awesome when there's no gapping. So, <laughs> like, I mean, look at how beautiful, like, I feel like I placed it so well. And, and no, it's not, I mean, there might be some technique, but, um, Minimal gapping does help the drills kind of shove each other in. So yeah, there is that finish there. I'm going to, yeah, if if this had turned out better a little bit, if I just didn't, I just don't like how this turned out. 
um, here and I could go off and change it, but I don't like doing it. I don't like, do you know, like removing drills are is so much effort. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this as is and just do this as my, I had fun diamond painting this, um, experience. So, and, and I do like how the flower turned out. I think if it wasn't for this lily pad here and then like the background having too many of these, um, checkerboarding kind of mixtures. I would actually like this much more. Um, and it still looks beautiful. So I'm going to cut this out. And I had a viewer tell me I should get a rotary cutter to cut out my diamond painting. So here is my um, cutter here. Yes, I, I could have probably just got the um, board and then the cutter here. But I, I was like, ooh, that's nice. The the ruler and it's actually a really hefty ruler so yeah <laughs> so I did try this out I was gonna do it the first time on camera and then I was like you know what what if I break a f like cut off a finger let's try this <sighs> so I did this um not on camera first so so yeah I'm just going to cut this with the rotary cutter. Now, I ha I did notice when I did it prior to this is if it's not completely straight on the edges, it will you will see the canvas below because my ruler only really go goes to what is straight. So, but I did find it cut it really easily. But yeah, see, um, maybe I don't have the technique down, but. I do see some of the canvas underneath there. Um, and it might not be so noticeable if you actually use washi tape, but with white canvas, you might see it. But cutting with scissors, I kind of get the same thing too. So yeah, I think I just need the technique down because maybe I have to cut from the top and I'll be able to cut it nicer, but it does cut really quickly. Um, But yeah, it could be just, I, it's not completely straight there, so um, I do still see a little bit of the canvas here. Or I just need to, like I said, I just need my technique down a little bit better. So cutting with scissors, you do get a more, um, what do you call that? Cut, close cut. Um, but the rotary cutter is fast. And I think if, if I put in like a decent color, um, what do you call that, washi tape on there, it might not be so bad. So I'm going to try cutting it this direction. I also thought of getting the bigger blade. Um, I was thinking it might be, I might not like it, I don't know. I don't know if the bigger blade would help. So yeah, there is... I, maybe I'm just, my technique for the top edge isn't the greatest. The bottom edge looks good. It's just the top, which I don't have down. Yeah, the bottom looks good. So, like I said, technique. <laughs> but it, it does make cutting it much easier, I have to say. So. And I have not lost any fingers yet, so <laughs> why am I saying the word yet? I don't know. But. Yeah, so that's my main. It does cut a nice straight line, but if you're not diamond painting nice and straight, you'd still see some of the white at the edge. This is also why I'm thinking of, instead of putting my diamond paintings on black paper, I'm thinking of just getting white paper and putting my diamond paintings on that instead of the black paper. Um, so yeah, I don't see this white here. And I did get a matte cutter from a viewer, so maybe I should go off and learn how to use the matte cutter. Um, and then I could cover up the ugly edges, use, um, 
by putting it over the mat. I actually think it's still, even though I'm doing this extra trimming, it's still a little bit faster to do the, the rotary cutter. I just have to maybe come down with my technique. Technique. Oh, I think I started cutting some drills. <laughs> So yeah, in case you want to know, yes, you can cut some drills. Um, but hey, they were probably not straight, so that's that made them more straight. <laughs> hey, this one, I actually, I think I actually cut this one relatively okay, um, edge-wise. So, so yeah, there's my my fun with my my cutter. Um, I'm going to. Add the legend to my journal here. And where's my tape? I dropped something. So probably just need the wider tape. I do keep, I usually will have a finished picture here um, when I go about actually printing out my finished pictures. <laughs> I do print them nine at a time. I'm, I'm thinking of going back to my four at a time um, just to give them a bit, like, just because the finish should be bigger than my not finished picture. Does that make sense? Um, I used to do them four to a page. And then I was like, it just seems excessive to do, makes it massive, my finished picture. So, will I be able to fit half? Yep. So, and then I'll put the finished picture there when I get about doing it. But I have gone to my journal in the past and looked at my legend, so it has happened. Okay, so, um, oh, remember to <laughs> To put the guard back on, don't don't want to um, have any no fingers again. <laughs> so I have this 18 by 24 inch paper here. Um, I have I did I did like I said I tested this out and I'm finding that using the little ruler on my mat thingy here has been helpful because I just put my paper on there um, and. I'm actually contemplating getting the bigger mat now because I'm really liking the mat. Um, and where's my tape? Here. So I'm gonna just put some double-sided tape on the back of the picture here. Oh. See, in the back, it, it look, doesn't look nice and straight cut because, yeah, I did start kind of cutting it where, I guess my drills were not completely straight. So, that might be a reason to just have the washi tapes on the sides and then, but the washi tape doesn't usually tend to stay well. Oh, I cut that too long. But yeah, don't usually add this to the unboxing, but I'll name the title of the thing Unboxing and Completion. So, I haven't put it together yet. I actually am editing a video right now, so. Because, not editing, but processing my post-edited video, which takes a long time. Um, it's doing a kidding up right now, so <laughs> which you will see. 
So, okay, so first off, let's get this in the center. So it have to be about there. That's the center. So one tick mark from one inch. So if I put my ruler at the one tick mark from the inch, there and then I actually have a nice ruler there too so if that's two inches two inches see I used to just eyeball this now I'm like I have this massive ruler why am I not why am I eyeballing it okay so two tick marks from two inches and below and about two tick marks inches and so there you go so Oh no, I might have lost something. I have a drill right here. So I will look after I tape this on here. I'll look to see where that possibly could be. The hazards with turning your diamond painting around and stuff like that is you might lose them. But I, I'm one of those I don't I don't seal my diamond paintings unless absolutely necessary. So Okay. I perhaps should have like tried to stretch this out um so that it's not bulging so much like if I went but I feel like I was trying to do that with while I was diamond painting and it just wasn't happening. So So there, let's see if I could find the rogue missing drill, this blue one. Oh, I see it. It's right here. There. All right. So. I do have my massive portfolio book here. Let me move this on top of my massive portfolio book. My massive portfolio book, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, my 18 by 24 inch one. This is the biggest portfolio book I could find that's not like $200 or something. <laughs> so it's actually almost full. Um, I already have I only have two more sleeves left and I only put a picture in one sided. I could also use the paper that comes in this portfolio book, but it's really, really thin. And in my construction paper here is 18 by 24 inch. It's a little bit thicker. So it's not like, it's not cardstock thick, but it's a decent weight construction paper. So. So put that in there so yeah I only I need to I only have one more sleeve left in this portfolio book so <laughs> so let's see move you this way but yeah it's very heavy and that's why I only put in one um, one picture per sleeve because otherwise I wouldn't be able to carry this <laughs> But I actually do have another one because I bought two at the time of me buying this. Um, so I still have I have 25 more pictures I could put away. So that is all for today. So thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.